Never in transportation has something so little been so big. The most significant new development in aviation since the beginning of the jet age. Now, Transportation Secretary Elaine Chow has announced who will usher in that new development, approving the first 10 applications for the next step in drone technology, including some by Bay Area companies. Google's parent Alphabet will make deliveries in Virginia. Uber will work toward its air taxi in San Diego. Apple will use drones for mapping in North Carolina. But Amazon, even with videos like this, did not make the list. Kansas, as you know, is the air capital of the world. State and local governments had to apply along with companies like Reno, where a startup will deliver defibrillators by drone. This initiative will truly save lives. The pilot program will pave the way for something a lot of folks have been waiting for, the ability to fly one of these without a pilot standing right below it holding one of these. It will open up a whole slew of uh, new opportunities for industry. David Berman works at Airware, which makes software to pilot drones for otherwise dangerous tasks like inspecting rooftops and utility poles. They've needed special exemptions, for instance, to fly at night. Things like water intrusion, which can only be detected at night and via thermal camera. Berman spent six years working for the FAA. This is probably the, the quickest that the FAA has moved on any type of regulation. We, we don't, we're not used to seeing this. But in one sense, they had to move quickly. AirMap co-founder Greg McNeil says there's mounting pressure as other countries soar past the United States with compelling real-world uses for drones. I think if they had sat there and done nothing, you'd have an industry that can literally save lives that would be mostly on the sidelines. McNeil says public opinion is clear. People are worried about safety and privacy. He says the government's doing the right thing by making these applicants work with their communities. Drones might be operating in downtown areas and people really wanna have a voice in how that takes place.